First tonight at 6, the flu it is spreading quickly now in Maine, and health officials are warning it could be a challenging winter ahead. Good evening, I'm Greg Lagerquist. And I'm Marissa Bodner. Thanks for joining us. The U.S. CDC warning Maine is in the high category. As you can see here, it is highlighted in red. Now, cases of the flu and RSV, a respiratory virus, those have been skyrocketing, leading to outbreaks at schools. That does now include Casco Bay High School in Portland and now Mount Error at Middle School and Harpswell Community School. And as CBS 13's Brad Rogers reports, that is straining resources, including at our area hospitals. Hospitals in Maine are seeing an uptick in patients with respiratory illnesses. Now, during the COVID years, mask wearing kept a lot of these flu outbreaks, like the one we just had here at Casco Bay High School, at a minimum. But now that the masks are off, we're seeing more cases of flu and other respiratory illnesses. <laughs> Adelina Sayanga and Noamia Zolomeso are happy to be back at Casco Bay High School and feeling much better. Both were out with the flu last week. I was shivering. I was coughing real bad. I couldn't really breathe at night. Coughing, like pain in your stomach and stuff. Couldn't eat, couldn't breathe. The outbreak at Casco Bay High led to one third of the students and staff being out sick last week forcing the school to dismiss students early on Friday. We are seeing a striking uptick actually in influenza the last 10 days. Doran Mills is Maine Health's Chief Health Improvement Officer. She says family Thanksgiving gatherings is the likely source of influenza outbreaks across the country, the highest flu numbers they've seen in the past 10 years. And she predicts this will be a challenging winter when it comes to the flu. You know, we have this respiratory cauldron of viruses that are circulating, and I suspect that they'll circulate for a while. But the good news is we have a lot more tools than we had three years ago, um, including vaccinations. Mills says updating your COVID and flu vaccinations, washing your hands and wearing masks are the best ways you can keep from getting the flu. Because of this flu going around, should everyone be wearing a mask like we did with COVID? Um, in my opinion, I feel like, yes, we should, but if you don't want to, that's on you. But me, I would definitely wear one. The kids who, like, had the fevers and stuff, they still have to, like, wear masks just to keep everybody safe. Dora and Mills says right now there is an abundance of high-quality masks available. She also says this year's flu vaccine is very effective. In Portland, Brad Rogers, CBS 13 News.